Embarking on a journey into painting this year can be your greatest decision ever. In this video, I want to give you three reasons why this could be the very best time for you to start painting, alongside this wonderful painting study of an Egyptian cat that you can do today with very simple techniques and materials, so let's get to it. As your first project, you can start with this Egyptian cat and paint along. The link is in the description. This subject is just so beautiful. Wonderful statue in great sense of volume, perfect to work on values and brushwork. The most difficult part really is the drawing and the proportions, but it's really simple if you transfer the drawing using tracing paper. It can be done with very simple material. In this case, I only use titanium white, finished red, raw umber, ivory black, and a small touch of pale turquoise and yellow ochre to mix the hues of the oxidized copper, but really, I'm not using a whole lot, so if you don't want to make it complicated, you can skip that. But if you don't want to do this, you can pick your own subject. Just begin with a straightforward subject like a single object or a simple landscape. I'm sure you have stuff around your house that would make a good simple subject, something like an egg, an apple, a pear or a teacup. Choosing a simple subject like that allows you to focus on techniques without feeling overwhelmed. In the example of this cat, it's actually more simple than it looks if you just cheat a little bit on the proportions and just trace the drawing. Gathering the right supplies is the first thing you need to get started and you don't need anything complicated. I have a detailed list you can download in my resources for artists on my website, but you can start with a basic set of oil paints like this list for example, but any selection can work. High quality paints can make a significant difference in the vibrancy and longevity of your artwork. You might think that to start messing around with oil paint, you can try the cheapest student grades at first. And frankly, it's up to you, but just know that you might end up spending more in the end because you'll soon want better quality paint and abandon those paint tubes, those student grade paints halfway full, so in the end it's not really worth it. For brushes, you want to get a variety of brushes in different shapes and sizes. I usually say that you can start with 12. Hog hair brushes are commonly used for oil painting due to their durability and ability to hold a significant amount of paint, but synthetic brushes also work well to start with because you are likely to damage your brushes at first, so wait before you try to purchase super expensive mongoose or sable brushes. Include flat brushes for broad strokes, round brushes for detail, and filbert brushes for versatility. Next, you need a canvas or a painting surface that accepts the oil paint. Pre-stretched canvases are convenient, but for your first studies, you're better off using gessoed MDF panels or oil painting paper like I'm doing here. You can switch to linen canvas when you feel ready. Other than that, you'll need an adjustable easel, a nice palette, a few palette knives, some linseed oil, and some odorless mineral spirits to make a good painting medium. The rest is all detailed in my free PDF that you can find on my website, so feel free to have a look. Remember to choose quality supplies as they can significantly impact the outcome of your paintings and also how enjoyable the experience will be for you. As you gather your materials, take your time to familiarize yourself with each item and don't hesitate to ask in the Discord before purchasing. We're going to talk about that. All right. Three reasons why learning oil painting is easier than ever. Number one is access to resources. Now is the best time to get started and learn how to paint, period. That's what we were just talking about with the Discord. The internet is a treasure trove of art resources, tutorials and inspiration. In this day and age, we all have unprecedented access to online platforms, art communities and social media where you can connect with fellow artists, 
learn new techniques and showcase your work. Of course, I can only recommend that you check out the Discord of our community, the Atelier, that's what I was mentioning before. If you don't know about Discord, it's kind of like a forum on steroids. You can post pictures of your work, you can ask questions to other members of the community, you can ask me a question or even get in voice chat with me or other members, share your screen, show what you do. Really what I like about Discord compared to other social media is that it's an active community and everyone from all levels can contribute and share about their journey. So let's say you need some information about pigments and paints, well you can ask in the art gear and materials before purchasing and from there people will most likely suggest ideas and even links. Or even if you have a question about a certain painting technique, how a painting was made, go to the Painting Techniques channel and maybe someone will point out to a moment in a video that answers your question. Discord is really cool for that. If you never tried it, you can have a look. You're welcome to join the Atelier with the invite link in the description. But you also have other Discords by other communities that are just as awesome, like the Studio Lounge by the wonderful Kelsey Rodriguez, for example. You should also join it, but hey, make sure you join the Atelier as well, right? Number two, various style. The art world is more diverse than ever, with a wide range of styles, mediums and techniques. My channel is mostly focused on atelier techniques, classical drawing, painting techniques, but if you prefer to go for a different style, you can surely find other channels. Whether you're into traditional oil painting, digital art, abstract art or hyper-realism, there's surely a thriving community for every single style. Number three, technology helps. You might think that oil painting hasn't changed since the time of Ben Eich, and you would be right. We pretty much use the same timeless techniques that the old masters used to have, but we have a lot of cool new things that they would surely be jealous of. Modern chemistry, for example, has extended the range of colors that we have at our disposal. We have more, much more reliable mediums and pigments, and the research has been done to teach us what to use, what not to use, what to avoid, how to use certain materials, you know, stuff that could have been useful for, for example, the preservation of The Last Supper by Da Vinci. Stuff that he didn't know back then, that we know today. Advancements in technology have also made digital painting possible and it can be a great way to start your journey. A lot of people do that in the Discord actually. Tablets, digital softwares, other tools can enhance your artistic abilities, allowing you to experiment with different mediums, techniques before setting up an actual painting studio for traditional techniques. Now I'm going to talk about something that's kind of a generality about oil painting. It's not necessarily what I did for this demonstration that was not with one layer, but actually I want to talk about working with multiple layers. And I know it might sound unintuitive to a lot of beginners because they think that it makes the process more complicated, but it actually doesn't. Working with multiple layers is easier than working in just one layer with what's known as the at a prima method. So this is what I recommend to you at first. Start with a drawing outline. If you're not comfortable with drawing, just use tracing paper. Then take your time to paint an underpainting, let it dry and gradually build up layers by letting the paint dry each time. And do that as many times as you need. So you'll probably try, for example, this cat study, you won't get there at first, but you can then let it dry and come back with the next layer. And this new layer will surely be a little bit better than the one before. And do that as many times as you need. You'll see that the more you progress, the less you have to do and the painting improves every time. This technique adds depth and dimension to your work, but more importantly, it gives you time to correct and retouch. Oil paint is great for that kind of job and it's still the best medium for working with multiple layers like that. 
Next thing is practice regularly. Dedicate consistent time to practice. You've got plenty of exercises and studies on my channel if you want to paint along. And the more you paint, the more comfortable you'll become with different techniques and styles. You'll also understand how the paint behaves, which is one of the most important things. Remember, the key is to enjoy the process and not be discouraged by the initial challenges. It can be tricky at first, but there are plenty of resources out there. If you feel the need to go more in depth and learn from a comprehensive, well-structured program, you can check out my oil painting course, The Practical Guide to Oil Painting Techniques. It's designed to help with all the technical side of painting and comes with detailed demonstrations exploring portrait, still life, and landscape. If you want to learn more, just follow the link in the description below. So let's go back to the video. You can do it. Painting provides a powerful mean of self-expression and growth. It can be a life-changing experience, so don't be afraid of failures. Embrace the learning process. Understand that everyone starts as a beginner. Mistakes are part of the learning journey, so don't be afraid to make them. Each mistake is an opportunity to learn and improve. Look for artists who inspire you and study their work. Little by little, you'll draw inspiration from various sources, such as other artists, of course, but nature, emotions, your own personal experiences, and it will make your own work with your unique vision truly yours. Don't aim too high at first, and keep in mind that painting is a slow-moving journey. But it's okay, it's better this way. It's not quick and easy satisfaction like what we expect today, but the reward is much more satisfying and long-lasting. Take your time, enjoy the whole journey, it's going to be slow, that's great. Break down your artistic progress into small, achievable goals. This could be completing a specific painting, learning a new techniques, dedicating a certain amount of time each day to practice. And finally, engage with fellow artists online or locally. Joining art communities provides valuable feedback, support and motivation. It can be online, of course, but it can also be an art school or an art community near you. You can also go to art fairs, participate in challenges and events to push your boundaries. We have an art challenge each week on our Discord, so feel free to join. There will be so much more to cover. It's a huge subject, but you can at least start with this video and follow along. A huge thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon and YouTube membership. This video wouldn't be possible without your support. If you want to join the community, you'll find a link in the description below. You'll also find the links to my courses, cutter course and painting course. All right, that's it for today, my friends. I'll see you for the next one. And until then, joy and inspiration.